talk about like my psychological disposition. <laughs> they say I'm dumb because they don't like the way I talk. They actually say Donald Trump is dumb. Donald Trump, I think, sweats more than a Mexican gardener. Honestly, that takes a lot of IQ. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> okay? You do not put on a suit and uh, be in an air-conditioned White House and sweat 18 hours a day because of back-breaking labor <laughs> and then just wake up in the White House, look at my beautiful wife and my beautiful children and my, this beautiful life and uh, actually be able to enjoy, I don't know how the man is maintaining his uh, physical stature, that's, that's something to look up to. How do you maintain your diet and your metabolism? How are you not overcome by stress? Hearing all this horse shit on the internet, like Donald Trump, whether it's me or the actual Donald Trump, or President Donald Trump, uh, any of us uh, lacking in any kind of thing, or uh, IQ, or being uh, ridiculed, or um, here comes the homies right here, here uh, ridiculed, or um, or even questioned or criticized in any way, shape, or form, uh, in the along the lines of being dumb and able to eat dinner. I don't. I don't understand how the president does it. Who exactly is dumb here? Because the president is being very patient with the rest of the country, I promise you. Uh, I didn't take the keys to sit around and partake in all the gay festivities. That's what's not happening. I'm letting you, I'm warning you now. Gang members and politicians alike, presidents, and everybody else <clears throat> are all being very patient. The world is capable, the world is yearning for. The world knows, the world wants this life and every single day you take it from us and we watch you do it. To watch you do it behind a YouTube video and on the sidewalk is stressful in itself. To watch you do, to watch Donald Trump, President Donald Trump watching you do it. Watching him watching you is painful in itself. And I can also, because I have a high IQ, uh, understand that, my, that man's effort and uh, his sacrifice to this country on a daily basis. If you have any brains, you look at the press secretary, you look at the president, you look at some of our other good um, politicians, regardless of what the other man said about this man, you listen to each individual individually and you discern for yourself like the capable human beings that you are, the precise emotional disposition and the very precise messages that are coming out of these people's mouths. Regardless of your political or financial or underworld predisposition and belief, regardless of that, or irregardless of whatever, The message is moving forward in a linear fashion and so is the unrest and the, the patience wearing thin of all the rulers on the planet. I don't know what the unanimous coercive vote was, but I've been yelling bloody murder for seven months. I think they've been doing it for a little longer than that. So, um... You better believe 
I wasn't a petunia for 10 years to come out and let you know that I ain't ever been a petunia and to fuck y'all up and ain't nobody catching the drift and ain't nobody benefiting. Everyone's on board. So, we got patriotic Americans. Hello? What's up? Good morning. Hello, hello. I love you. What the Jesus? Freaking A. So, can't wait to come see the country. Can't wait. Can't wait till all the fucking nasty spots are gone. Can't wait. We can't have a beautiful country like America get fucked up over fucking baby eaters and retards. America is a sexy ass country, bro. Amer the land is a sexy country.